Hey, this is Kenneth, and today I'm going to show you the out-of-box experience for the Texas Instruments Simple Link Wi-Fi CC3000 development kit. Uh, this kit showed up at my doorstep, um, so thanks to whoever gave me kind of one of the most awesome dev kits from Texas Instruments ever. Um, so, what this is, this is a development kit that lets you develop embedded systems that have Wi-Fi connectivity. This is really cool if you want to do any of the Internet of Things type of things and have wireless connectivity for any embedded device. The kit actually is fairly involved. You can see the box for it is pretty large. And it comes in three parts. It comes with its own uh, TP-Link uh, wireless N router. Um, it's wireless N150, which means that it's kind of only enough N so that they can put N on the box and not enough to N to actually be meaningful N. Um, and unfortunately it comes with the wonderful feature of having the wideband 2.4 gigahertz, which is not so good. DDWRT runs on this router, um, but I haven't yet loaded it because I just wanted to try and get this working first. So, it comes with the router, you plug the router in, ready to go. What it also comes with is one of Texas Instruments' new FRAM development kits. So this is uh, a kind of a step up from the launch pad and has about the same specs as the early Arduinos. So 16 kilobytes of program space FRAM and one kilobyte of SRAM. FRAM is kind of neat because it's almost as fast as SRAM, but is non-volatile. But unlike EEPROM or Flash, has, is rated for like a hundred trillion write cycles. So you kind of get the best of both worlds in FRAM. So, neat little development kit. Then it also comes with the CC3000 Wi-Fi daughter board, which plugs into a set of headers on the FRAM kit. So, as you can see, here's the board with a standard 0.1 inch set of uh, headers for uh, port 2 and 1, and then this is the Wi-Fi board itself. Plug it in over USB, it shows up on your computer as a serial port, an HID device, a um, composite device, and an input device. So that's, that gives you the ability to, through the um, uh, FET on it, reprogram the tool, and also, through the serial port, communicate to it. So I'll show you how to, con how to configure this device to talk to the router and then show you the demo application and what it does just to say, hey, look, it's alive. And then in the future, hopefully, once I have a little bit more free time, I will actually try and take these demos and build my own, uh, some, some sort of my own project with it, which I hope that you guys will enjoy in the future. So now that we have it plugged in, you can see there's one blue LED, and going into the Windows devices, it lists all of the USB hardware that it appears as, and one of them is a uh, MSP430 application UART, which is a serial port, which it assigns COM33. So opening a standard serial application like PuTTY, and go to serial port number 33, opening it, we get nothing which is a little unfortunate. But if you hit return, it brings up a prompt. So it's actually there and working, it just doesn't actually give you any feedback. Um, man telling it manually what our access point is, you say a soch, um, Texas dev net. Um, the router comes default tp-link underscore MAC address, but I didn't like that at all, so I changed it to Texas dev net. If we hit enter, it's going to say attempting to connect using SSID Texas DevNet. Connected, MAC address, it got an IP address from the DHCP server, started the server, and you'll see three more lights lit up. As, as each part step in that process, this bar is going to fill up, which is kind of a nice diagnostic. Now it's waiting for clients. Having downloaded the Texas Instruments demo GUI program, uh, we start it, and it says, would you like to configure the CC3000? And we say skip, because it 
cannot detect the TP link router or configure the router or configure the CC3000 automatically because the demo doesn't really quite work. But telling it exactly which interface the TP link router happens to be on, we say OK, and it pops up this little globe. So one node connected, so that's my laptop, and over here you'll notice this happens to be the same IP address, 192.168.2.101, as our CC3000 set over here on the serial port, 192.168.2.101. So, here's the cool part. In this development board, there is an accelerometer and a thermometer. So now, as we rotate this, you can see the orbiting globe also matches our angle. And if we bounce it, um, you can't, you, it's subtle, but the rings actually like expand. It goes, ooh. Yeah, so that, that's the demo application that comes with it, which gives you a pretty good idea of kind of its capabilities here. I'm excited about building other type devices on top of this platform, so look forward to future projects. This kit is in kind of high demand right now, so um, you may find it a little difficult to get your hands on one at this point, but definitely watch out for it, and hopefully myself and anyone else out there will start cranking out really cool Wi-Fi enabled projects, because the Internet of Things is the future. Alright, thanks for watching.